Greetings, brothers and sisters. It's your sister in spirit, Annie, reaching out through another enthralling video. If this is your maiden visit to our channel, I bid you welcome into our divine family. Don't forget to become part of our journey by clicking the subscribe button. Make sure to tap the notification bell, ensuring you're alerted whenever I present a fresh video to the channel. Let me reveal to you a profound truth. The Holy Spirit has been whispering insights to me, illuminating a path I must walk and words I must share. Today, and for days leading up to this moment, I have been submerged in a time of growth, a time of divine study, basking in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now, let's dive deeper into my communion with God. The Holy Spirit has been whispering wisdom about the ebbs and flows of life, about the divine cycle of time. Our Holy Bible states, to everything there is a season. God has preordained a unique time for every purpose under heaven. Scriptures teach us that God doesn't mirror man, and as the heavens stand loftier than the earth, so do God's ways surpass ours. God operates on a different plane of understanding, far beyond our mortal comprehension. That's precisely why the scriptures urge us not to rely solely on our understanding. Our earthly mindset is often inadequate to grasp God's heavenly wisdom. We must remember that God sees what our eyes cannot and hears what our ears fail to perceive. I'm here today to impart a divine revelation that everything good you've been fervently praying for, your purpose, your moment in the spotlight, your dreams, will certainly come to fruition. But remember, it's God who makes it possible. Faith without works is dead, but after you've done your part, you must surrender it to Him. It is God who will bring your dreams to life. As I was immersed in my time of study with God, He presented me with Galatians 4, 4. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son. This message for you today is rooted in that scripture. In the fullness of time, your season will bloom. Let me reassure you, God has grand plans for His children. Indeed, God has monumental blessings in store for you. Feel the power of that truth reverberating within your spirit. Affirm it with me by commenting, Praise the Lord below the video. Know that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has conceived the good and the grand that God has prepared for those who love Him, for His chosen ones. Remember, God doesn't dispense His blessings haphazardly. They're not tossed about based on our readiness or our assumptions of when we should receive them. Everything occurs in God's divine timing. Take the example of the farmer. He doesn't plant a seed today expecting a harvest tomorrow. Instead, he readies the ground, tills it, and nurtures the seed until, in the fullness of time, the harvest comes forth. So ask yourself, while I'm waiting, what am I doing? Am I engaging with books, courses, videos? Am I healing emotionally and spiritually? Am I shedding the baggage of my past? Am I positioning myself for the blessing? For God is telling you today that your moment will come in the fullness of time. Nothing in this world, my friends, comes for free. Now, they might have told you otherwise. They might have spoken about freedom and liberty. But know this, every free thing you experience has been paid for in some form or another. Consider this, you're watching this video. It's free for you, isn't it? But the creation of this content comes with its own costs. It costs me my time, my energy, my effort. I had to prepare this and create this video when I could have been doing a myriad of other things. Thus, it comes back to my point, nothing is free. There are dues to be paid, and to realize dreams, sacrifices must be made. To manifest dreams, we have to invest in them. Reflect on this moment, this season of your life. It might be a season of preparation for many of you. And God, my friends, is the architect of this season. To illustrate, I am reminded of my time spent as a stagehand at a theater. Audiences would arrive and behold the stunning sets, props, and costumes, ready to contribute to the storytelling. But they weren't privy to the backstory. Sets, props, and costumes didn't just appear on stage. Instead, they arrived in large shipments, which had to be unpacked, assembled, and prepared. 
The costumes had to be measured and fitted to be worn by the actors. Backstage was a whirlwind of activity, all hidden from the audience who only saw the captivating final performance. Similarly, God is working behind the scenes in your life, prepping you for your time in the spotlight. When the curtain is pulled back and you stand in the limelight, you'll be ready and the world won't know what hit them. They won't see it coming. The transformation will be so profound, so glorious, it will leave them in awe. When God sets you forth in the world, it won't be a time for preparation. It's the moment to shine, to show what you're made of. It's not about getting ready then, it's about being ready then. God is molding you now, refining your spirit, preparing you for that moment. Because when that moment comes, it will be your time to reveal the masterpiece God has crafted. The world will see the glory of God, the divine spark hidden within you. But until then, remember, this is a season of preparation. Embrace it, for God is grooming you for greatness. Even Jesus, the Son of God, had a season when he was sent forth to fulfill his destiny. God, in all his wisdom, works in seasons and time. He ordains the perfect moment for things to manifest. No force in this world can thwart his plans. Despite numerous attempts to destroy Jesus and his divine purpose, nothing could prevent the fulfillment of God's plans. You, my friends, are also covered under this divine plan. God has spoken blessings over your life, and no force in this universe can halt them. When the fullness of time comes, the divine plan will unfurl, unstoppable and glorious. In this era of instant gratification, we often fall prey to impatience. We demand immediate results, throwing tantrums if our desires aren't met at once. But God works in His time, not ours. The preparation period is an opportunity to prove your worth, to show your dedication. God observes how you navigate through the hurdles, how you remain faithful amid adversity. It is about showing Him that you can be trusted. God may delay, but only because there are certain attributes in you that need to be nurtured further. If God brings you into the limelight too soon, the pressure might be overwhelming. The devil wants you exposed prematurely while you're still immature and underdeveloped. But God wants you fully prepared. He is grooming you, refining you for the moment when you are ready to shine. In your trials and tribulations, you might feel as though you're being battered by relentless waves, made to face tests that seem designed to bring about your downfall. Yet God, in His infinite wisdom, assures you that this is but part of a grander plan. Breathe deeply, feel His presence in every hardship you face, for it is His way of preparing you for what's to come. Picture yourself enveloped in the embrace of the divine. You're safe, cradled in His lap. Now, envision a piece of metal being forged into a stunning piece of jewelry, a process that requires patience and time. Similarly, God is the artisan, allowing you to be molded by his wisdom. In this process, the unnecessary, the harmful, everything that does not align with his divine plan will gradually be shaped away, much like the raw metal that gets refined under the blacksmith's hammer and fire. As you are delicately molded in God's wisdom, those things contrary to his will for your life begin to fade away. Unhealthy friendships, toxic relationships, all connections that drain you, these will lose their hold on you, just as impurities are removed in the blacksmith's forge. Just as a piece of jewelry is refined by heat and pressure, God is refining you in his divine workshop. Not a second too soon will his work be done. In his divine time, not dictated by the ticking of a clock or the turning of the calendar, his plan will come to fruition. As he called forth his own son when the time was ripe, he will also call forth you, his child, in the right moment. There's a price to pay in this process. It may require you to dig deep, to sweat and toil. He asks if you are willing to face the grime of challenges, for it is there that the jewels of wisdom and strength are often found. So will you roll up your sleeves and plunge your hands into the messy soil of trials and tribulations? God looks for those who are willing to shed their external pretensions and grapple with the raw reality of life in their pursuit of His will. 
to face the challenges, to drive out the invader that seeks to harm your spiritual home, to cast out the intruder, are you prepared to do these things? Are you ready to run the adversary out of your house, or will you rely on others to fight your battles? God watches to see if you are willing to face the challenges head on, for those who do will sit with him in glory. God seeks those who are faithful, those who are trustworthy, those who are willing to face the challenges and trials for him. He wants to see if you are prepared to make sacrifices, if you are ready to shed tears for his cause. In this period of divine forging, you may find yourself shedding tears, crying out in moments of despair. Yet, realize that this is part of the process, part of the journey to attain God's promise. Though you may have to confront adversities, fight battles, remember you are not alone. An enemy may be assigned to challenge you, but remember, they are there to test you. You must face them, not out of fear, but with faith and courage. God seeks those who are willing to face the grit and grime, those who are prepared to go into the trenches, those who are ready to face the spiritual wickedness in high places. There are times when you must shed your airs, shed your pretensions and face the enemy. The battle is not with flesh and blood, but with unseen forces. It's a matter of life and death, and it requires tenacity and boldness. God likens his timing to childbirth. At the right moment, your aspirations will manifest. When God ordains it, nothing can obstruct it. However, patience is key. You have a role to play in this process, being proactive, planning, structuring, and working towards your dreams. While God promises to make your dreams a reality, He observes your actions during the waiting period. Show your maturity, strength, and trustworthiness by preparing and positioning yourself for His blessings. I, Annie, share these messages and urge you to subscribe to be notified of future ones. These wisdom-filled insights are needed now, and I am humbled to deliver them. Share these divine words to help spread the gospel. Remember, God has you in your preparation season. When the time is right, He will guide you forth. Blessings to you. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord. Click the link in the description to discover a limited time special offer on a life-altering technique designed to help you manifest God's blessings.